Because women have their own measurements when they're looking in that mirror. They'll be looking in the mirror going, fuck, that's not right, that. That is not, fuck, that, that mirror's not working properly. <laughs> I'm going to go and double check on the bathroom scales. And we still got those old bathroom scales. You know the ones you stand on? It's got that little window with that measurement dial that spins around. Have you seen that spin round when your wife steps on them? Bounces all over the place. He wants to check who it is first before he stops. Is it her or is it him? Because if it's her, I'm fucked. <laughs> Never gives her a definite weight. It always keeps bouncing. Have you noticed? Yeah, you sort of weigh something. Anyway, you've got your own talking weight machine in the house. Your husband, ask him, have I put on weight? Have you noticed he does the same as the bathroom scales? Well... <laughs> you're not big and you're not small, you're lovely! <laughs> I love that, when your wife stands on the scales, if they don't like the weight they, like, they see, they have a go at getting it down, they go, ah, that is never fucking me, that, no way. Or the public scales, they're the best. You've seen your wife use them, you know the ones in the arcade? She puts a coin in, as soon as she steps on it, you've got your foot on the back. <laughs> I'll put on 15 fucking stone! <laughs> Is that right, love? I'm gonna die it for you. Because <laughs> women have their own measurements that blokes don't understand. You ever seen a bloke standing next to the dishwasher holding a pan going, this will never fit in there? Your wife could just walk up and go, give us that. <laughs> Straight in. It's like they can alter time, space and equilibrium in that dishwasher. It's like dishes don't take blokes seriously, they just sit there staring back at blokes going, We ain't moving! <laughs> as soon as your wife walks in the kitchen, Fuck, it's her! Shuffle up, shuffle up! Because <laughs> they don't like the way we put them in. Blokes always put the plates leaning forward, your wife puts them in the reclining position. She wants them to have a nice wash. Oh, thank you. You know, we put them in the crash position. Fuck, fuck, hold on a minute. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Cos you ever look in your dishwasher, it's like economy class in there. No one's issued a proper seat, everyone's just squeezed in. Then you've got the first class up the top, you know that basket at the top? That's where all the small plates and the cups are having drinks. I do like to wash in first class, don't you? <laughs> then you get the late arrival holding everybody up, the extra big bread knife, it can't fit down the bottom, so he gets upgraded. Fuck off, I need the leg room. <laughs> Look at him, he might turn violent. <laughs> all blokes load up the dishwasher wrong. They always put that pan on top of all the plates down the bottom there. So when he closes the door and it starts to go, that pan starts to hit his head on the fucking fan thing, you know? You can hear it inside going, dang, 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 dang. <laughs> and that's when your wife walks in the kitchen. Now, women can do this brilliant thing. They're not scared to open a dishwasher mid flow. <laughs> Have you looked in your dishwasher when she opens that door? Even the dishes can't believe it. They all go like, ah, what the fuck? <laughs> And I feel, so, I feel sorry for dishwashers when they get old. It's like you turn into home help. You're going out getting it dishwasher tablets. You know, you start talking to it. You've had your tablet, haven't you? <laughs> I'm going to give you a rinse aid. Do you like your rinse aid? <laughs> well, it sounds like a pensioner when it's gone. Have you listened to your dishwasher sat there in the kitchen when it's gone? Like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's why the washing machine always tries to get out and spin cycle. We can't take it anymore. Fuck it, I'm leaving. See you later. I can't fucking take it. <laughs> You know, that's something I've never got. I've never got the, you know, the symbols, the washing in instructions on washing machines? What the fuck do they mean? One of them, there's a triangle with a cross through it. What's that? Don't wash triangles. I don't know. <laughs> it's not hieroglyphics. They're exactly the same. Egyptian hieroglyphics. Have a look at them. On the, have you noticed all the paintings on the side of those pyramids? All the blokes have got their head turned to the side. Do you know what he's doing? Love, how the fuck does this work? Do not iron, that's one blokes would understand. Blokes in ironing, that is not fucking working. Even the ironing board don't like him. You seen a bloke trying to erect an ironing board? The ironing board lets out a scream. It's like... <laughs> Doesn't do that with your wife. She's tamed it. It's like... <laughs> Fuck off. You seen a bloke ironing a shirt? He'd be there for two days. Gonna like, need to get every crease out. Have you seen your wife iron a shirt? She's like... It's on a hanger going... <laughs> I've been mugged! <laughs> And your wife don't mind you doing any of your stuff, but don't try and iron any of hers. Fuck no, you'll pick one of her items up and she'll go... Step away from the skirt. <laughs> Put the skirt down. Step the fuck away. <laughs> Men, they have no concept of that heat gauge on top of the iron. Have you seen him ever get your polyester slip? Fucking... <laughs> plastic. 
And what's that brown shit that suddenly comes out your iron? Just suddenly, without warning, you'll be ironing. <laughs> what the fuck's that? <laughs> Love the irons, just sneeze. 